and triple threat match. This thing, no disqualification. Kid Holiday, Chris Henry in there. Chris Henry, she's taking care of both. Diamond carry position. Oh, you're a dream of shot, baby. And drop. that time of year. Oh, Wish Marty O'Donnell was here to narrate this. Just oh, ding, strike to the key. Him and Mike Salvatore. Yeah. Yep. When they wrote the, the original <laughs> themes to uh to Halo, I was just like, whoa. I, I remember as a kid, uh just like Same, as soon as I booted up the Xbox and it got past the the flashy Xbox logo and everything when that mm -hmm. game started, it was like you just stared at it. Turn this shit up. And it's like, I don't know, it's so nostalgic. Now, um, <laughs> I uh, participated in, uh, actually, multiple, but um, back when Halo 1 was relevant, I yeah. um, participated in a regional Halo tournament at the Bristol Mall. <laughs> Huge. I mean, it was, it I was never, awesome. I never did that. There were hundreds of people uh, there. It was, it was great. They had little micro tournaments at our local gaming store, mm -hmm. G2K. And, uh, yeah, I, heard, I did a couple of those, too. Dude, uh, I went in there, and... The, it, the one in Bristol, I won, like, two of them, but it, it, a win there didn't really mean much. We got a trophy yeah. from the one... Uh, my buddy Timmy's got it, Timmy Jones. So. We Well, I went there, and I got second one time. Uh, me and my buddy Andrew teamed up, and we did, like, uh, you know, uh, team snipers, <laughs> mm -hmm. and me and him dominated all the way up until the end, nice. and then we came up against these guys... <laughs> And they just, they at first mopped the floor with us, but then we figured out their tactics. But they were so far ahead, it didn't matter. See, this one was hosted by Sears and GameStop mm. and um, uh, KB God, Toys man. and a bunch of other stuff. And I remember as soon as you opened up the door to the mall, you could hear Halo just ringing through the yeah. building, just uh, the, the theme <clears throat> and everything. It was pretty cool. It had a stage uh, with a, like actual audience and everything. Yeah, and yeah. You had to buy tick. You had to buy tickets, but it was like. Twenty-five dollars a person, which was plenty fine. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the end of it, yeah, there was like a trophy set. But Timmy, uh, we ended up, uh, we got like third place, I think. And this was Halo One, and yeah, they didn't have online capabilities for Halo One, so not a lot of people got to practice hard. Yeah, land parties were the thing back then. Mm -hmm. Like you had like three so, or four people with Xboxes together. Yeah, yeah, land mm -hmm. parties was normally it. So if you didn't play against better people, you didn't really get any better. So it wasn't too bad. But we played on this thing called XB Connect mm -hmm. uh, on the computer. Yeah. You hook it up to your computer, and it runs <clears> it like a server, and you go to LAN on there, and then there was like hundreds of games <laughs> going on. God. So it was like, I, so I we remember. were playing with online people. That's where we got the advantage. But when Halo Two came out, and everybody got to play online, yeah, that's when it was like, oh shit! Now Halo, there's a lot of people good at this. Halo game. Two is where I played like my first online game, mm -hmm. and I was just like, whoa, dude, this yeah. is amazing. And uh, also Halo Two, that intro with uh, you know with Steve Vai's guitar, guitar mm -hmm. I was just like, da 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 da. -da. And then in the third one, I remember that's when they really cranked up the epicness with like the big like mm -hmm. big band or like the big orchestrations. You had like the very simple piano, the do 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 do. Mm -hmm. Then you had the warthog run at the end. It was like oh, yeah. Jesus. I love the drums and the percussion on Halo. It's awesome. There, there was like actually I remember this school group got together and they did. And they ha recorded it online, and I think they're still going. Uh, they were like a video game, like one of the first like video game music bands that like mm -hmm. played video game music and stuff like that. So this kind of brings us to uh, this video we're about to watch. Yeah, but, um, I would I would also say Halo Reach is my favorite multiplayer wise. I would say the so. Board. Yeah. But when it first came out, it did have a couple of rough starts, including one of the most overpowered pieces of fucking shit. <laughs> Armor locking. Yeah. All right. So armor fi lock. it's fine now because it's nerfed enough to where it's usable, but it's not like completely hindering. Armor but lock. Armor lock. Armor yeah, lock. man. Like you get a whole team of four people all armor locking, and it was broken because you could just armor lock infinitely. Yeah. It was just like, what? This is bullshit. And so, yeah. So and, I can't wait and, to see what this and, is. And you see, Badger, like he's been teasing this video for a while. I remember he released a few shorts on his YouTube channel like hinting that this was going to be his next one and people were just like oh my gosh yes and now with halo infinite on the horizon 
uh, here in the next few months. Yep, it's Halo season again. It is, and I'm happy. I'm very <laughs> been, happy. Been playing because, Halo Reach online. Yeah, yeah, you and me so. both. Like we uh, we played some the other night. It took me a little bit to get into the groove of it, but eventually yeah, I was you'll actually catch that doing groove. pretty good. Yeah, if you play I, often, I was then... getting into it pretty good, and I was just no, like, yes. Lee, Lee and I, after you got off, we played team doubles the whole time, and whew, that's when it gets competitive because it is just like, oh yeah. Well, I mean, it was like twenty four to twenty five. Yeah, 24 just, and 25. Some of them, you'd dominate them, and they'd be like 2 to 25, and it's like, ah. Yeah, it again, dude, you know, you get your strats down, you get, like, you <laughs> you trust your teammate and everything. Yeah, 2v2's got a outs. particular strategy. It's uh, pretty cool. and But, yeah. yeah, it's all call-outs. And once you get down 2v2, it's the same principle in 4v4, but you got to play in the same pattern. It's just, uh, yeah, it takes time, man. I love it, though, but I love being competitive at it and, Really, just going out there and fucking people up. That's, yes, that's I agree. It. And it's all pure skill. <laughs> you know, ain't no. Oh, so Halo Reach, armor lock, armor lock, armor lock. Uh, basically, this is Russian Badger's uh, newest video that he just released. Everyone on our Discord has told us to watch this. Everyone, it's just like it's like Russian Badger, Russian Badger, Russian Badger, Russian Badger. I'm like, okay, we'll get there. And here's the thing: I wanted to try and get Nick involved with this, but Here's the thing, Nick's not that big of a fan of Halo, and and I would say that him being down here, he wouldn't have as much fun with it as you and I would. Yeah. So, I'm not going to force him to be in this, and plus, he's probably asleep right now because he's <laughs> uh, he had a long night. <laughs> so, anyway, we're going to dive right into this. This is Halo Reach, Armor Lock, Armor Lock, Armor Lock by Russian Badger. Here we go. This video is sponsored by Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000, my brand new gamer stuff flavor that's on sale now. This is not a joke, not a meme, it's real. I'll tell you more halfway through the video. Let's roll. Why I should throw this plastic six pack ring into the river? I don't want it. The river is right there. <laughs> Take it from somebody who wet his bed until he was like 14. I have a real tier list for diapers. Good nights cannot be top. They are S tier. <laughs> S tier. Dog, you can down three two liters of Mountain D. And you can go to sleep. Yo ass ain't wet in the bed. That That's basically like wearing a mattress around your pelvis, dog. I don't think I was prepared for this conversation. Yeah, you're you're flashbang by words. Oh. Oh, great. We reverted to CSGO. They're just kind of dropping that on us out of nowhere. Hold up, Badger. 14? Yes, 1-4. I was well into junior high, and I was still a threat to my parents. <laughs> <laughs> they put the man to chief in the soap. Welcome to Halo Reach. Welcome to Halo Reach, a game so old it was actually designed to be fun. They made this game by just saying this in the boardroom. We need a good game. Okay, so let's just take R6 Extraction. And do none of that. Oh, oh, oh that's yeah. a that's a big mm. shot across the bow at Ubisoft. Because yep. yeah, this... I saw that. Uh, I was watching on there. I was like, oh, this looks like it might be fun. Then the more I watched into it, I'm like, nah, I'd rather play Siege. Yeah, like, or I would I would much rather you know the modding community like turn Siege into uh, an entirely different game than play extra than play Extraction. Yeah. Ubisoft made the wrong call when it came to... I mean, procedurally generate the maps. Like, make it to where the maps could be procedurally generated and you had to come up with a new game plan literally every time. The, the MO for the next Siege game was right in front of you, and what do you do? It's just like... Aliens. That's it. That's <laughs> yeah. what you go to. Good job. Way to Anyways, go, Ubisoft. If we're going aliens, we're going back to Halo. Exactly. So level with you. This video is going to be impossible to make. Just the thought of organizing this horse shit is making my skull ache. <laughs> it's like being challenged to make a cool looking t-shirt, but the only thread available to you is spaghetti. Like, sure, I could make the shirt, but any way I weave it, it's still fucking spaghetti. Welcome to Five Guys. How can we absolutely <laughs> scam the shit out of you today? <laughs> you may be able Give to me a speak on here right now with sentences like, Master Chief is on the cover of that Mountain Dew box. But by the end of this, that will not be the case. They put the Mountain Chief in the show, man. But if you're okay with this video doing numbers, and by that I mean a number on your brain cells. Yo, oh. it is doing numbers on everybody. 
on everyone. Jesus. Like, mentally. That, that is still my <laughs> fucking reaction image of the fat guy oh, at the man. screen. Two likes, one retweet. Shit, this dude with numbers. <laughs> Here's my experience with Halo Reach. <laughs> As a Mountain Dew baptized veteran of Halo 1 and Halo 2, I wasn't completely new to the series, but I didn't know shit about Reach. I was so clueless, I didn't know if the campaign was four players or 40. We better have 16 gamers in the campaign. <laughs> 16 Spartans. Doug, you're the last brute. You just see the clan tag of Jello balling and can't get up running towards. I don't really uh, play the <laughs> campaign ever in Reach. It's only just strictly competitive multiplayer. I liked the campaign in Reach. I thought, you know, it. Uh, I thought they did a great job building up Carter, building up Cat, building up, uh, uh, just building up George. Mm -hmm. uh, just honestly, man, I liked it. And also seeing the origins of Cortana was fucking awesome. I was just yeah. like, I was like, oh my gosh. It's yeah, I, I liked it. Uh, I read the book of it too. So that's the okay. The Fall the, of Reach. I did so that. Too. I wasn't really like. I mean, I was surprised at a lot of the changes that they made, um, especially aesthetically. Like there was a lot of aesthetic changes that was way out there. You know, especially with, like the armors and stuff. But it was kind of cool. Well, I mean, it yeah, it's it's it again, dude. Halo like Halo's campaign is not for everybody. Like for me, I thought Five's campaign is the worst one. That, yeah, I'm just uh, gonna be brutally yeah. friggin' honest about that. Yeah, I, my my rating is one's a masterpiece, two is great fun, three was pretty fun, but okay. Uh, four kind of brought me back to Halo One in a way, mm -hmm. so I, I really I agree enjoyed with that. it. Five, I was just like, oh my god, I'm like, what is five, going on? It's like it's like who is Locke and why should I care? Yeah, I was like, I, I just want to play as Chief it, the whole. You day got time. Mike Coulter to play your Locke, which is a great casting choice, mm -hmm. but Locke is not an interesting character. Yeah. Locke is just not interesting. I mean, th this is Halo. We're supposed to be following Master Chief. I mean, you bring in this guy who's supposed to be like, I'm hunting down Master well, Chief. I mean, it's plus like, the, the ending of 4, dude, I about cried. Like, it was like, it was deep. It was deep game. So when uh, when 5 came out, I was like, oh my god, I had to fuck, nah, she has to be alive. And then, like, all that shit. And I was like, really? And now I, she's... I, why do I have to care about this other stuff? I'm focused on the main story here. And yeah. now we're going to this lock dude that I don't give a two shits about. Yeah, if there's anyone who can hunt down Master Chief, anyone... Whom we have an experience playing with, we actually get to play as him a little bit in five. Yeah, Arbiter, but Arbiter, he's right there. Why not have him go after Master Chief? That, that that was his job previously, and now he's hunting him down. And they actually fight over shit. We actually know that Arbiter wants to know why Master Chief's doing what he's doing. And then, of course, you know, we had the whole Cortana situation. Which, ugh. anyway, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Let's get back to this. <laughs> Save Reach. We changed the end of the game. You're the final brute. You see somebody running at you with a BTS clan <laughs> No. George lets us with the ship. He's just throwing us off into space one by one. Jesus. Don't forget Reach or some shit. Oh, no. I definitely oh, no. knew where it took place. No matter how many times Jello lied to me, I knew that Reach was about Reach. You see Nitro Area <laughs> present day. I love that. <laughs> I definitely knew it took place in the future. I don't know how it's been 500 years and the ships in the U.S. Navy still aren't accepting sponsorships. That doesn't make any sense. Yo, the USS Cod is a real thing. Better than the USS Tilapia, to be honest. <laughs> USS Lobster Fest. Jesus. Yo, they actually sponsor an aircraft carrier. I like the USS Fun Rucker. Wow. <laughs> And I definitely USS Steak and Shake. Which spoiler warning? Spoiler! This game came out like 2007. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 2010. Like. Anytime I anybody asks me what I animate in, is like, damn, that's some good graphics. What, what, what engine is that? It's like, dog, that is Source from like 2007. <laughs> <laughs> everyone dies. <laughs> Literally everyone dies. I guess June technically June just does gifts, live, which is where the dying is gay. I'm out. Mean comes from. <laughs> That. Good lord. <laughs> I remember that meme. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. I mean, it's a game from 11 years ago. So, yeah. Spoiler territory is way out the window on this. Everybody fucking dies. Mm -hmm. What do you expect? I mean, it's just like Rogue One, Star Wars. Everybody dies, you know? Well, Except, you well, not know, everybody, but. All but you them. know, like. Yeah, it, it's a it, prequel that uh, leads into it. And everybody. Uh, the book had been out for fucking, like. 10, 15 years before that, so yeah. you know, the book was out at the right in the same time the first game was out. So yeah, it's true. And it's that out, was in two thousand one. That yeah. was in two thousand one. So yeah, but all right, let's go ahead and get back. Hey, to but everyone dies. Over. What the fuck?
The game ends with an objective that just says survive, and you cannot complete that objective. So Impossible. you're basically toast. Third objective. <laughs> objective. Survive. Oh, there it is! And now, after beating the game, I feel like I know less about the story, if that's even possible, with every bite-sized explanation from my squad being either intentionally misleading or just flat-out vague. So does this planet reach even matter? Well, yes, but actually... No. Is your clan tag no, or is that like your general status yeah. towards orders? <laughs> just no. Yes. Even when I tried to grasp what was going on in cutscenes, I either got a shitty summary from Jello or a sudden death of one of the main characters. What happens? So no head. <laughs> <laughs> You're on your own, Noble. Carter out. This Here is goes a good Carter. Part, right? Nobody dies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this confusion got even worse when I dressed my Spartan up like Ronald the goddamn Donald and was somehow simultaneously an active participant in cutscenes while also being a dead body in cutscenes. I just don't get this anymore. Look at my smiley face. I look like a walking fucking happy meal. <laughs> oh my Wait, God. my dead body was in the middle of that cutscene? Yeah, it was. Split, <laughs> man. <laughs> I mean, that's it. All the noble team is dead. All of Noble's team is dead, including you right there. Two yeah. times. How does he do? <laughs> oh, that's oh, right. You survive, right? No. no. <laughs> it's right because if you're if you're in there with multiple people, yeah. your you... character can die but then respawn. Yep. <laughs> that's. I remember that. I forgot about that. Damn. I remember it was all over the fucking place, and it was very hard to follow. Like, I mean, well, oh, even no, though I, I knew pretty much what was, well, like, happening, and for the most part, of course, the characters are different. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, yeah, I remember all the characters. Like, I mean, it was have, hard to follow, though. I mean, Well, you have George, June, Emil, Kat, and, of course, you got Carter, and mm -hmm. then Noble Six, who's the new replacement of the sixth team on no of the sixth, sixth person on Noble. And, yeah, it's, it, I liked it, but it's basically, uh, it's a tragedy. That's the mm -hmm. point of, of Reach. Is that it is a tragedy. I mean, yeah. it's a tragedy what happens to all the members of Noble. I mean, especially for me, the one that caught me completely off guard was Cat because I was just like, I was, and then all of a sudden, just like a needler pff, right through the top of her helmet. I was like, mm -hmm. oh shit. Because really, in the books, uh, Master Chief is the last Spartan. Yeah, it's kind of. Well, and the thing is, a... if you actually hack the camera at the end cutscene there mm -hmm. on one of the on one of the fixed cameras, if you actually like turn it to the right. There's Master Chief in his pod. Mm. You actually can see him. I remember doing that. I remember like, like, all right, and oh, there he is. Hi, Chief. And he's just like chilling out yeah. in his pod. Ugh. No. no, it is actually impossible for you to survive. Ronald finishes the fight. <laughs> now I want to see Ronald McDonald with a fucking bean sword. Are you feeling the spaghetti now? Are you feeling the spaghetti now? Because I can feel the marinara sauce coming out of my ears and it tastes like Mountain Dew. They put the Master Chief in the show. Fuck it. You want to know the best part of the Halo Reach campaign? George. Literally George. George. He's this yeah. giant ass behemoth of a character the size of a monster truck when every other Spartan is like a mid sized sedan. And he's got to be one of my top five favorite <laughs> characters of all time. And he's straight up just named George. George. This is a big boy. It's a big motherfucker, yeah. Just so he drink a lot of glue. A lot of glue. His name is fucking George, chat? There's no way his name is George. George. Yeah, George, George, bro. It's George. He's being named the chalkiest dude in the campaign, walking around with like a tank-sized minigun, George. Yeah. George. <laughs> George, 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 George out of the jungle. Oh, oh, be... Depending on the <laughs> language, might be Look Jorge. Okay. George's blood type is protein shake. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, George, George, go first. What did George do? Why is George so damn big? You need to use your mocap suit to, to make George cross up Master He's Chief. the mountain, man. <laughs> I oh my god. That. That'd be lit. And he did it. He did it. George just outright destroying Chief and just uh -oh. getting fucked. Oh, that what cause? Badger would never be bullied. Objection! Objection! Badger, Badger fucking, fucking bullied! <laughs> I, if there's anyone I would have in a basketball game, it would be Badger because he's like six foot seven. Is he? He's tall. He's, he's a boy. tall boy. I think six. Actually, no. His brother's six seven. Badger's six four. I mean, it's still taller than me. And plus, Spencer, I think was a. In ROTC, in uh, in uh, col or in uh, high school, or not ROTC? He was in the uh, Canadian uh, Canadian Marines, I believe. I forget, but mm. that's what people tell me. Don't believe everything you read on the internet, kids.
George is the perfect encapsulation of the Halo Reach campaign in my brain because I don't really understand him. He's got some confusing characteristics, but I love him with all my heart. Just being in his presence is an unbelievable amount of fun, and he dies just like everybody else. Yo, what did George do? It. <laughs> kill him, Heavenly. Ooh, kill him. <laughs> Ooh, kill him. What the hell is this? Ooh, kill him, in George. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, oh damn, he fell. Dies. No. <laughs> Baby. The only way off this slag heap is gravity. No, 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 no. no, 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 no Tell him to make it count. Damn, that's what, that must be how Skulker line? feels when his fast is bent. Pretty good right? for a break. Just picks Skulker up and throws him. <laughs> <laughs> she is taller than him, right? They're like an inch apart. I think she has an inch. <laughs> You're five one versus five feet. I'm like. <laughs> oh come on, man! Ain't nothing wrong. Here's the thing: people often ask me how tall I am. I'm six two, and every time I tell a woman like I'm over six foot tall, like immediately they're like, oh. Oh, okay. Oh, no. And then all of a sudden, it's just like, it, like Nick, where he's, I think, 5'9", five, 5'10", five, he's used to getting rejected simply because of his height. I'm like, what's with that? What's what's with that? I mean, it's like, as Michael Reeves said, all the height went to his cock. <laughs> <laughs> Glad we finally know who the round meal was designed to serve. There is only one man dense enough to tackle this goliath of protein and calories, and his name is George. Round meal? George. Oh, man. On the yeah. label, it says feeds three men. Like, specifically. Men. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Round meal. Macaroni and beef. Serves three men. How to do it. Boil in bag, open and enjoy. Oh I want to, I want to see just like, like a lineup of every motherfucker who has ever purchased that protein blast. I want to get that. I want to. You know what? I'll eat that if I can find one of yeah, those. If I can find one, I will eat that. You know why? Because I am stupid. Uh, that actually looks pretty good. I, I mean, know. macaroni and beef, bro. I mean, what's wrong dude, with that? Dude, imagine going on a camping trip and having that, like, and, like, it's just like, dude, I'm so freaking hungry. It's just like, all right, start a fire. Start a now fire. grab the pot. Water, boil, throw the bag in there. And the next thing you know, it's just like 10, 15 minutes later, all of a sudden, just, there we go. Who's hungry? I imagine that bag would be extremely hot to handle after it's been boiling. I would say so, too. <laughs> like, but I guess, well, yeah. <laughs> Also, keep frozen. We'd have it in a cooler. We'd have yep. to have it in a cooler. Oh, God. Speaking of which, the campaign gameplay is a fucking blast! I mean, you could be racist towards enemies without technically being racist, according to YouTube's Terms of Service, because they're alien, non-human, fictional, and the slurs are officially endorsed by Fictional. Bungie. Fictional being the key point. Yeah! yeah. Get fucked, split lip. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Can we get a okay elite preferred species? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got, <laughs> got got big booted right in the face. <laughs> You've got Holy that shit. Are racist towards you that I had no idea existed until Heavenly told me. Oh, are the jackals the ones that can like jump around like maniacs over here? Those are the skirmishers. They're like jackals, but racist. <laughs> but what? I firmly believe that the two most dangerous enemies on Reach are grunts and your own AI teammate. Everybody else is just cannon fodder. Oh, Jesus what? Christ! Oh, they God. blow up. Are they so that intelligent? Yeah. They just come charging at you, double fisting a fucking gr two grenades. It's just yeah. like it's just like I was born for this. Boom. And also, yeah, your own teammate, your own AI teammates being against you. I witnessed this happen. My friend Andrew was playing Reach. He got in the passenger, or he got in the rocket hog uh, during the one uh, one scene with Cat. Cat's mm -hmm. in the driver's seat. Cat drives around in a circle and like stops halfway about doing the second circle, and then just drives off a cliff. Oh, great! I was just yeah. like, I guess she just yeah, didn't. Yeah, AI live does anymore. do some crazy shit. Y yeah, I I didn't get it, but I didn't stop me from laughing my ass off. Run straight running at him with two grenades in his hand, screaming. That's like Skulker running at me with two chicken nuggets at McDonald's. Like, oh my god, I'm scary. Oh, what the fuck just happened? Was that, was that noble? Yeah, you're noble. Yeah, it was a meal. A meal fucked your world up.
<laughs> Get it? Like, why did I suddenly gain so much inertia? God dang what it. What is happening? Bungie physics be like, oh, another suicide group. Oh, my boy Ben is trying to do a bad long jump off the planet. Oh, kill the pineapple. Get the pineapple. Oh, the tag team combo, Jello. That's like an alley oop with a grunt. Don't even get me started about the weapons, because the gravity hammer alone is enough to keep me happy. It just scratches that same itch as the tire iron and fallout. It's so crude and so sad. Let me get the monkey. Let me get the monkey. <laughs> the only downside being that, forgiving the analogy, if you put a literal hammer in my hands, it makes everything look like a nail, and I won't discriminate between friend and foe when swinging this thing around. Come here, bitch. Come here, bitch. Gimme! Gimme! Oh my god. Oh, you fucked up. Oh no, bye. Oh, so did you. Why did you say it? It's obviously not your only option because persuasion is quite the weapon in co op games. If you can cleverly convince someone to do something, that's definitely a deadly skill. Are you making a machine of it right now? No, bro, I'm fucking. I'm blasting some tunes in my helmet, bro. Listen to that new dream song, bro. That's what the mask is for. That's what the mask is for. Yo, can you throw him out? Yeah, can you yeah, yeah, just eat him. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> just eats himself out the you sun. Hate that dream, dream song. You look so relieved. Just to unbuckle your seatbelt and take a step, right? Honestly, it'd be that was like me whenever my sister was playing uh, uh, this one song. I was just like, I think I'll walk home now. Just like, <laughs> uh, like she stopped. Yeah, I've been in like, some car rides where I just wanted to jump. Yeah, just tuck and roll. Just, <laughs> it's like. It's like, all right, we got the new Luke Bryan song, he, the new Luke Bryan album here. We're going to listen to it from beginning to end. Proceeds to open door and jump out into into the road at 65 miles an hour on the freeway. Tuck and roll. Tuck and roll. <laughs> oh. Of course you can choose brawn over brain. I don't know why the fellas don't find the halo mechanic of just punching something over and over until it explodes as funny as I do, but I respect the brute force persistence. Alright, I got the monkey gun. Oh, shit. Damn, you're just punching it a bunch? That's yep. how you yep. deal with it? Yeah. What? Yeah, you just punched the shit out of the tank. Yeah, she got on and started punching. Pick him up! Pick him up. Oh, well, that, holy oh, shit! God. The Molnir oh, armor is fucked, fucking God, strong. Man, you're fucked. You are fucked. Oh, oh heavenly. He punched you so hard you exploded. You know how hard you have to hit somebody for a person? What you know about <laughs> The solution to anything bad that you don't want. Just punch it until it explodes. Another highlight of the campaign was this challenge involving a 200 foot jump off a cliff. Yeah! The they came to hear me beg. By executing an elite to break your fall, and if you goof it up, you snap your legs and die. Assassinate this motherfucker to get this helmet. Alright, fuck it, I'm going with you. And. I got it. Oh, oh my did. god! Oh, oh you stole it. it! He yoinked it! You ever had that? Yeah. That happened to me so many times in multiplayer. But that right there, I tried like five times jumping off that cliff and like one time i got a i got a grunt by mistake oh great and i was like damn it because <laughs> the challenge is you have to uh, like jumping assassinate an elite that's yeah. the that's the, your fall yeah <laughs> just fucking do it run it back he, no you threw a no we're close <laughs> you didn't fart <laughs> This is like watching the disabled kid run the Hail Mary knowing damn well he won't catch it. <laughs> oh, and the rat? Easily the second best character in the game after George. Part of me wants to go back and ask George to yeet him off Reef before it gets glass so he can live a long and cheese filled life in peace. Yo, this is the rat! This is the rat in SFM! What up, rat? Wait, wait, wait. Let me let me get the detail graphics. Oh, Look at him go. Let me get the rat. How do, I want to pick him up and squeeze him twice. So, whick -doo, whick -doo. Oh, oh, why did you kill the no, rat? No, don't kill the rat. <laughs> Pick him up and use him as a weapon. Oh, he has jiggle physics after he dies. Dude, I loved every bit of Reach, all the way down to the copyrighted music that I can't show you because I'll get glassed. I mean, sued by the composer. <laughs> Shut up, generic gamer tag. Beethoven been real quiet since Fart Night and B3 came out.
<laughs> and before we even get to the multiplayer, I gotta thank the sponsor of this video. Me. Fucking me. Yeah, I'm gonna sponsor this shit. Fuck you, mobile game publishers. I'll do it myself. Silence, brand. I can't believe I'm saying these words out loud, but thanks to my sponsor, Gamersups, I now have my very own energy drink, Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000, the ultimate strawberry lime flavored gaming beverage that puts every other dumbass liquid on the planet to shame. I'm not kidding either. I'm dead ass. It's my very own flavor. And here's why it's different. I've tried almost every energy drink you can imagine, from Red Bull to Rockstar to Game Fuel. I'm like a 10th prestige veteran of Boomerang. Have you tried Glitch? Because I've tried Glitch and Gamer Steps, and they're both really good. That's White Monster alone. Any of them. All these drinks have one thing in common. They're too much. They're too much. They spike your blood sugar with a heart racing, head crushing blast of energy that makes you want to pick up a truck and throw it across a Denny's parking lot. Technically, this is a Walmart, but you get the idea. Followed by an abrupt crash where your blood sugar tanks and you can barely sit up in your chair to continue shit posting on Discord. Gamer Subs is different because instead of dropping a nuclear bomb on your body's energy levels, it's a light boost to your day with just a tiny scoop that you add to water featuring 100 milligrams of caffeine to keep you alert and, and focused. Some titties more on importantly, the, on no the racing side of the no headaches, shaker no bottle. sugar, with a sweetener that has no impact on your blood sugar or insulin levels. It's even diabetic friendly. And over the past year, you guys have guzzled so much of it, they let me craft my own flavor, Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000. A perfect combination of strawberry and lime that I start every day with two scoops of, and on that note, that's what makes Gamer Stuff beautiful. If you're a 200 pound piece of shit like me and need two scoops, go for it. But if you're caffeine sensitive and need to go lighter and have one scoop, or half a scoop or add a shit ton more water it's all up to you but whatever you do don't compare us to g fuel g fuel is garbage not even getting into their gigantic serving size that is over four times larger than gamer subs or the blood sugar spikes from malto dextrin just do this wake up one Damn. day have yourself some g fuel and see how you feel wake up the next day have yourself some gamer subs and see how you feel then literally punch yourself in the fucking face for even comparing the two because one makes you feel like garbage and the other is a light tailwind to your day. Grab yourself some guacamole gamer fart or any other flavor for that matter at the link below and use code badger for 10% off. I feel like a whole new person after switching from regular energy drinks to gamer subs and I'm confident you'll feel the same. Guacamole gamer fart 9000, the official energy drink of shit. Now back on topic, Reach multiplayer is a special kind of fun. That yes, is it even is. Even when you're getting your shit stuck by a bunch of flaming skull veterans that have a hundred times the hours you do, it's still fun. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're we good. ain't good. We ain't good. Oh, oh, oh fuel rod came into the face. <laughs> Yo, that first shot was dead bullseye. It's even more it's fun right once you face. discover one of its key features, which requires absolutely no introduction. Uh, armor lock. <laughs> armor lock, bitch. <laughs> Still doesn't work. The best friend Halo Reach. Yeah, armor lock, bitch. I love how much trash you talk while armor locking, and then the red X that says heck. <laughs> Just like, was it really? It was still worth it. Twitch chat was really out here trying to tell me that armor lock isn't a strategy. To which I responded, armor lock, armor lock, armor lock, armor lock. Yes. Fuck you, other team. I'm gonna armor lock in your ass. Ha <laughs> ha Armor lock. It's okay. How people can sleep standing. Stand oh, yes, next to No, because it, yeah, it automatically, if you're close enough, it EMPs your fucking your shield away, and then you can just turn around and whack right yeah. in the face. You gotta get away melee. from them and just wait for that headshot. As soon as they come back, pop. Yep, that's it. It pummeled his cloud ass. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't dead yet, motherfucker. Yeah! See, when you can pull shit like that, that, it's worth it. No, oh, yeah. Man. No. Damn. Damn. Deny. Damn. Deny. Denied. Damn. Denied. Damn. Denied. Damn. Denied. Oh, oh no! We just got robbed in the streets of Baltimore. <laughs> we literally just ran Uncle Ben for his foams right there. They <laughs> got me for, for my foam, Spider Man. <laughs> Did you outsmart someone with armor lock? I think. If that guy dies. He's dead. He's dead. Yes. Hell yeah. Assist. <laughs> that guy Six. dies in a rocky. <laughs> And even if you fuck it up, you still win. Because something hilarious is bound to happen when you pop out of it, like getting blown up with a plasma grenade and smashed by the hood of a speeding vehicle simultaneously. <laughs> Do it to me, daddy. Fuck <laughs> 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 <laughs>
If you time yeah, a grenade yeah, right with it, it's actually deserve. you can actually kill him immediately. Deserve that. that was the absolute worst time to have my armor lock <laughs> expire, dog. The main feature of Reach multiplayer that I love is the lack of customization, which I know sounds impossible given the virtual requirement nowadays to pack every game with skins and charms and skills and perks and battle paths. I saw the line as pillow. Like Warzone is fun, but getting torn to shreds every game by perfectly optimized character gets really old really quick. I am perfectly equipped to exterminate you. I am black with these yeah, like the crazy custom shit. Yeah. The rose skin is preferred just to keep it even. Yeah. yeah. The rose skin in Modern Warfare is I'm glad they nerfed it now, but so many people were just like like ready to quit the game because of it. And a lot of people did because the rose skin uh, in in uh, Warzone was we, it, it, that was the prime strat for the longest time. I can't believe that's a strat. <laughs> yeah. Skin, like, like every engagement regardless of distance. <laughs> Beam sword go. Everything about Reach was so much fun because I more or less always felt the same as other characters around me, and I wasn't getting cheesed by the sweatiest meta strategy that everyone copycats to try to gain an advantage. Of course, there are seven armor abilities you can choose from to augment your experience, but they came unlocked for everybody. I really only saw sprint and armor lock, and I never felt like it made a radically different opponent while running one versus the other. The magic of Reach is that everybody starts with the same battle rifle, everybody can pick up the same weapons, and everybody can commit cold-blooded vehicular Homicide in the same Warhog. Let's run somebody over into Warhog. Get ready. We're gonna get this fuck. Yeah, bitch! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this makes Reach immediately fun. Unlike so many other titles nowadays that are definitely still fun, but it takes hours and hours of grinding, customization, and optimization to get to that fun. So again, even when I was getting gaggle fucked by half the enemy team, I was still having fun. Because they didn't kill me by abusing the latest gimmick everyone's running to gain an unfair edge. They killed me because they're they're better than me, and I ain't even mad. I'm about to stick some buckshot in this guy's You really shots. can't be Wait. in that game. Oh, God. I got no, you just got executed. <laughs> Damn. Yo. Then there's so many times, just like, finally got the shotgun. About to have some fun. Dude. I come around yeah, the corner. This game, Halo pisses a lot of people off, though, because it really does, like, as easy as it is to jump in and play, it has a long learning curve as far as, like, the skill tree. You know? Like, there's a plenty of room to go up you know? yeah and, and the thing is like you said earlier skill bay it's you know, the skills mm. that you have to have for this yeah you know, it, i was i was salty as hell uh <laughs> when mlg introduced uh black ops into their um tournaments because they were they literally had like eight-year-old kids inside there with, that haven't been playing a game for years, and they got lucky and made it into the finals. I'm like, <laughs> you ain't getting lucky in Halo. No. Not a fucking chance. It, the score will be 0 to fucking 25 in a 2v2. You know, like 25 is cap, uh, yeah. 4 4 4 50. <clears throat> um, I've literally seen matches go from like 1 to 50. Yeah. What, just like, so just out of pure skill. And it's like, there's nothing you can do unless you literally put in the groundwork and train, you know? Yeah. And... Uh, not with Call of Duty. You just hand somebody a kid that's never played before, and he will still manage to get a few kills. Yeah. You know? Or yeah. just accidents. You know? It's like, hell, you might spawn behind them and fucking kill them. It's like, that shit doesn't ha I mean, I'm not saying hell is perfect by any means, but it's very balanced um, as far as skill goes. As soon as I said that, I got my neck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did not yeah. know there was gonna be four motherfuckers in that room that quickly. Oh Literally my god! Get fuck shit and get hit. I'm not Almost even mad. That was like a raid on Bin Laden right there. Holy shit! My basic strategy revolved around spam. Like beyond the obvious requirement of spamming armor lock at every opportunity, my entire focus in any engagement was railing my W key to close the gap on my opponent so I could spam my melee key. I'm a little bit too far away for shopping. Yeah, got that his ass. Shotgun idiot. blasted right to yeah. my elbow, bitch. <laughs> I love the double bubble. You just turned into like a the rag doll. Ball. Yeah, I love being able to trade. Yeah. <laughs> we were just eating our meat in the corner in a totally non-sexual way. Please do not age Kate this video. Yeah. Christ, you do please just yes. give me the money. Just give me the damn cash. Trade! Oh, bitch.
bitch. Oh. I got the McDonald's Big Mac. Mig, Mig Back. Whoops. Then I just started Whoops. stealing everything else. I know the major complaint about Reach is the bloom, where your crosshair expands and becomes less accurate unless you take a nap between shots. But if you wrap and spam every shots. bullet, every yeah. grenade, and every vehicle you have as fast as you can, your accuracy doesn't seem to matter. Wait, 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 wait. How do I hijack or whatever it is? Killing spree. Wait, this thing has rockets. This is good, right? Hell yeah! Killjoy! Enjoy that grenade, <laughs> asshole! Spaghetti yeah! Got, got his ass! Got him! Got him. I'll wait for all way for me to get back. No, I'll wait. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a grenade! Oh shit! Oh, damn! God damn! Thank you. Whoever. Oh, out of the, out of the air! Double kill, goodbye! That's what I'm doing. Get <laughs> eat it. Ooh, that hurt. That was it hit so hard he just goes lifeless in midair. Okay, this is a good idea. Hey, come back. You don't have any gunners. Come Yo, back. I'm gonna get this guy though. <laughs> I got his ass! Hell yeah, yeah armor work. lock! I'm gonna survive. How? Yes, I survived! How oh, fucking god, that's why. Actually built different. And there is no spam like Rafe spam. W R A I F yes. Rafe. It Rafe. may be split lip technology, it may be a giant alien magic school bus that looks like a fucking plum, but anything that allows me to get a running riot and a kill tacular with my IQ is definitely worth spamming. You know up there? Yep. Yeah, there was a dude up there. He was oh, up there. Oh, direct impact. Boom, bitch. Got it. Yo, Mig back is back. Yes, I see your ass down there. Oh, you gonna die, boy. Woo! Double kill. Double kill. Let me shoot someone into Cubby. Killing frenzy. Killing frenzy. Yo, that's a scorpion. Wait, I killed somebody. I killed this turret. You took the turret out. Oh, shit. Overkill. No, where the ball's at? Yes. Kill. Tell Running riot, running riot, riot. riot. The running riot Russian bag. Yo, 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 I finally found the Rafe. 15 kills, no deaths. I found the fucking Rafe. Dude, my man has 30 kills right now. What finally Rafe. found the Rafe. Damn. See what I can do with the Rafe. I think the only Rafe. thing that would have made Reach more fun is if I played it on Xbox. Because I definitely feel like the Halo shit talking on Xbox Live is the only communication in the world more toxic than League of Legends. Uh, oh, it was. It, oh my god. Oh, and, and you can only talk to them after the match. Yeah. yeah Halo 2 had that too, man. Yeah. So only yeah. after, as soon as yeah. it goes over and you're in the lobby, People's like, fuck you, motherfucking oh, hacking that, shit. Uh, I, I was going to say, like, I remember one game after after Halo Three. All of a sudden, I just hear, "You're trash, you're 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 trash." Oh yeah, that does it. And I'm just like, and I'm just like, I'm waiting for him to like take a breath. And I'm just like, says the guy who lost. <laughs> I'm like, rematch me, bitch. And, he, and he's just like, one v one me, bro. And I'm like, I would rather grind my nuts up with a with a fucking cheese grater. Mm. Then, then I love one v one ones on Halo, dude. I no, fuck I, somebody up. No, dude. no, I fuck people up too. It's just I don't want to give them the satisfaction. It's just like it's like why the hell would I one v one you? Like waste my time playing you? Yeah, it's it, really kind of a waste of time. It's it, just but to it prove is. A point, it's just you know? I just I just honestly every kid out there who's like one v one me, bro, and I'm just like I would I would literally rather go do anything else right now. Uh, you know what? There's a there's a country music festival down the road. <laughs> that I'm wanna, that I'm gonna check out. I'd rather do that than one v one you right now. And I don't like country music that much. So now when Lee and I played team doubles, uh, we went to a team that was neck at neck, and it was like four, uh, twenty four to fifty. Next match, same people. Next match, same people. So we were just like going back and forth. It was awesome. Damn. And there was no shit talk either. Believe it or not. No, y'all yeah, were. I, I think. You yeah, know, I could be mad at them because like, past it. They, uh, we beat it's, them on some round. They beat us on another it's round. Mostly insecure back. kids. Like, uh, uh, well, okay. Wildcat encourages it. You know, it, he encourages it because he comes on there. And he's just like, well, look at there. Look what happened. I'm gonna put that on my TikTok. And he like he just like messes with people. He call he his fake gamer tag is Cod God seventy six. <laughs> as in as in he is the greatest like forty five year old Call of Duty player. When in truth, Tyler's not even 30 yet. So, in truth, he just gets on there and he also has like a little voice filter on. He's just like, you're trash, boy. You're trash. It's all I'm going to say. Yeah, by the way, uh, it's going on my TikTok. Yep, y'all. And he just like talks mad shit just to get people stirred up. And then eventually, dude, he got one kid so stirred up. Uh, this kid had a speech thing. Oh, uh, he no. had a speech impediment. And he was like, he spoke like Sid the Sloth from Ice Age, you know, just like, oh no, he, he's like, how, he's like, how, what are you trying to do? And he's just like, he's <laughs> oh, like and no. he looked at the guy's name, he's like, it's like, wow, Xanner. 
Imagine if your parents actually gave you a name you could actually fucking pronounce. And then Damn. all of a sudden, like, Xander was just like, man, screw you, you effing... And then he called him the N-word. And oh, then all of a no. sudden, Tyler was just like, aha! There we go. When you corner when you corner someone so bad with insults that the only thing they can do is yell that out just to try and make you shut up. That's that's literally it. It's just like, damn. Using League of Legends. Can I, can I test it here, focus group? Sure. All right. <clears throat> I can tell by the way you type that you're fat. What do you think? <laughs> I, I got it. The roots. I ain't laughing, but I had it. <laughs> oh, I got it. Oh, That's a limit. How many times have I got your fucking eye out? That's not a good meat wad. Congratulations! No. You successfully made it to the end of the video with enough brain Nick's cells meat to comprehend the words coming Nick's out of my mouth. Nick's meat wad is really good. You still understand really what good. I'm saying? You're officially a part of the elite. I'm <laughs> demanding to you the show. <laughs> <laughs> Jello, those, that set of text is like so wrong. Like, if it didn't start with M, you didn't, you wouldn't know what it's talking about. Ah! I don't know what you're saying anymore. <laughs> what, is it? It's what is going on? You There's stole his execution. I got a double. I just asked Jello what was wrong, and then I just heard. Ah, reach. Every single minute the joke plays a bungee game, his DNA goes back like a hundred years. Oh, that dude's body! <laughs> but if all your brain's gray matter has melted into Mountain Dew and you no longer have the mental capacity to play the greatness that is Halo Reach, rest assured that there are other Halo titles out there that require far less cognition. Pash, have I shown you top 10 Halo games? Number six, we have Halo Wars. Halo Wars is better than StarCraft because you could play it on your couch. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of couches, <laughs> coming in at number five, Ikea. <laughs> Wait a minute. You made this entire fucking video without a single RB and the chief reference. That's fucking stupid. Fuck this shitty fucking video. Fuck, 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 swas, 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 swas. That's about it, dog. Halo Reach. Do not forget to buy some Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000 on your way out because that shit's gonna be gone. I mean, it's not like a limited edition merch drop from Gucci or anything like that, but we can only make so much of it at any point in time, and I imagine you guys are just gonna be chomping at the bit to snort this off someone's ass. Don't actually do that. That's, no. that's not a good way to ingest anything, let alone caffeine. And I don't want this video to get age restricted by YouTube. Just give me the money. Jesus Christ. I hope you had half as much fun watching this as I did making it because it was a blast and I will catch you guys next time when I make a rat plushie that I throw into outer space. <laughs> God. Oh. That was a lot. That was a lot. Yeah. That packed a lot into their episodes. It's well, yeah. Just, well, Badger's, so fast. Badger is a, like, I will always give Badger credit on the fact that he... There's a lot know, of production goes into that. Well, oh, dude. The it's thing about it editing. is, his uh, motion capture suit that he was wearing in mm -hmm. that, guess how much that cost him? Probably too much. Take a wild guess. I don't know. Three fans. Three thousand. Five thousand. Ten. Twenty. God damn, too much. Yep. Thirty-one thousand dollars. And then all of a sudden... Everyone was just like, really? You paid $31,000? He's like... But he's doing stuff like that. He's like, so you cannot like... put a price on the ability to meme. Especially when it comes to shit like this. It's like, damn, Badger. Them, look, them graphics looking good as hell. What like, what engine they on? It's like, Source from like 2007. And, uh... Well, Source Engine has updated. They quietly updated it to the Source Engine 2. Oh, now I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I've never used the Source Engine at all. Um, well, in Gary's mod, there's a bunch of different shit you can do. And the only engine I've ever used is Unreal Engine, so... And that was, like, back in 2001. Oh, I, I've dude. continued it a lot over the years, but it's changed so much that... Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, so, yeah, I'm leaving a like on that video, and also, damn... Yeah, this this was a hell of a video, and Badger, you know, he, he always gives quality content, and he's almost at three and a half million subs, which Whew. good shit, Badger, good shit. Uh, and he and uh, every time a new one of his videos comes out, people are just like, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. And here's the thing, Badger, I believe, has said that he's he he likes our reactions to these. I mean, he's he's said, I believe, he said he's been fine with us reacting to them for some time. Cool. So, uh, I mean. There's, and for anyone out there who's got a problem with us reacting to Badger's videos, I mean, just like, 
take it up with the man himself. I mean, if you don't like it, why are you watching? Yeah. Well, you're just you're just giving us you're just giving us more uh, interaction. <laughs> That's it. Uh, but yeah, this was this was a hell of a video. Badger, you should like again like I, I know the one that he did not too long ago on Fallout New Vegas. That mm-hmm. one was I think 40 minutes long. Jesus. Yeah, and everyone wanted us to watch it. That's and, a lot. That's an in-depth game, though. All oh, the fallouts are deep. Oh, so yeah, dude. And you could make a damn two-hour video on that. And Badger kept the memeing up the entire damn time, and it was Shoot. really good. And then, of course, he did the battle, uh, the Star Wars Battlefront Two one, and uh, that one had the you know had so many memes in it. He's just also that had Nick giving his best joke ever. Uh, it was the one where we were taught they they called Boba Fett in the in the video they called him Bubba Fett. Yeah, Boba Fett. I know and, a lot of people did that. No, and here's the thing: me and Nick started cracking jokes. We were just like, "Hey, Bubba Fett! It's the redneck version of Boba Fett." You know, got the big old beer gut and all that. And then all of a sudden, Nick just goes, "You know, I was thinking about calling my truck the Slave One, but uh, I don't think I don't think uh, some people out there would like that very much on a <laughs> no. on, on, on account of the Confederacy." It was just like, she, and me, I was almost in the floor dying. Because I was just like, oh my gosh, he really went there. Uh, but yeah, this was a good video. Uh, if you want to check out more from Russian Badger, click his name in the title of the video. If you want to see more from us, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, leave a like, and uh, leave a comment down below. And uh, hopefully we will see you all in the next one. So until then, I'm Nate. I'm Jacob. We'll see you, everybody. Peace out.